Hey, this is Brian with Unfiltered Gamer, and I'm doing an unboxing of the game Deliverance. Deliverance was a successful Kickstarter, and we had a chance to play the prototype. This is a dungeon crawling game, and in the game, you're God's angels, and you're battling against demons over the souls of this town. It's, it's a great game. I'm super excited to see what's in the final box. So let's open this thing up and see what Deliverance has to offer. This is a deluxe, deluxe game. This is huge. It's gonna take up some space, but uh, man, it looks great. You can check out the artwork there. The artwork in this game is really great. Lots of detail, really well done. Every piece is kind of like a work of art. You can kind of see a little bit of the box there. There's not a lot of room. It's just, it's huge, it's huge. So again, this is a one to four player game, so there is a solo mode. And let's see what's inside. All right, we got some punch boards, general tokens there. Yeah. Kind of take a look at that, damage tokens, shield tokens. The rule book. We'll go through a couple pages here. You can kind of get a, a taste for the game. Let's see how the game kind of lays out. But again, the artwork's great. This looks very clear. Uh, it looks easy to follow. For those of you who are afraid of thick rule books, it is 31 pages, but uh, again, it has pretty nice uh, size fonts. It's uh, very colorful, lots of photos. I imagine it's pretty easy to get through. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, this looks like uh, the demons. You can kind of get a look at the artwork there. I hope you can see that well. There's quite a few different kinds. I imagine they have standees for all of these as they did in the prototype. All right, uh, some of the names, Cruel Archer, Sandman, Abomination, Masked Evil. Here's some more characters. Yeah, the artwork's really detailed, it's really cool. Uh, and then we can get a look at some of the angels here. You can kind of see some of the artwork there on those. I'll turn it around so you can see the other ones. Yeah, really great artwork. Colors are great. Uh, everything has, it's very, it has a big feel to it. Quality of these, yeah, pretty good, yeah. I mean, it's definitely not cheap at all. Yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh man, look at these. Wow, these are amazing. Look at how big those are. I, I hope you can see those all right. And look at the detail on that. That is amazing. That's some of the best minis I've ever seen. Wow. That is super cool. Here, let's take a look at all of them. Yeah, and these look like they mimic some of the artwork on the box. Wow, yeah, those are cool. They have a neat wash on them. Get a look at some of the different kinds here. Wow, the wings are amazing. And it, like, it feels really good. The gal has a couple of Couple of birds, she's kind of dancing around. Man, wow, I'm, I'm amazed. These are, these are really, really good. This one has a sword and a shield, more of a warrior. Looks like there's some, like he's running, so there's some speed. Yeah, wow, sculpts are fantastic. Guy looks like he's ready to kick someone <laughs> or leap. <laughs> yeah, wow, these are great. 
of the action. Look at the hair. Hope you can see that all right. I don't know if you can. But yeah, trust me if you can't. These are really nice, really nice. The last one here. Yeah, wow, that looks great. Man, those are super nice, super cool. They make you just want to play the game right away. Some dice. Oop. Oh yeah, these are nice. I know that they have some uh, some custom dice, I think, that you can get, I believe. But man, I mean, these are amazing. These look really good. Look at that foil in there, the gold foil. Yeah, wow, those look really cool, really cool. All right, let's see what else is in here. All right, this is one of the cardboards. You get, put your decks on here, your darkness deck, your prince deck. I think uh, if I remember correctly, you have to kind of resolve these and these kind of build. And if you don't take care of them, the darkness grows and, and you've got get on get to it and knock these out before you get overwhelmed. And it's double sided. I don't I don't know if these are uh, what's different about them. It looks like there's a little bit of a different type here. I'm not sure what that all means. Man, yeah, the artwork is super cool. All right. And this, the Deliverance of Fallbrook. Oh, it's a campaign book. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that they were going to do this in the, in the Kickstarter. So there's some missions, different ways to set up the game. Definitely add to the replayability and uh, longevity of the game here. Anyways, again, the artwork, super awesome. Looking forward to see all the different pieces in here as we, as we pull those out. All right, this I'm guessing is the actual game board. And again, this is a dungeon crawler. These look double-sided. Yeah, so it's, it's gridded but the artwork, different spots you can play. Here's some of the artwork of the town. So you play over the town. And, and again, in the game, you're battling over the souls of the people. And yeah, oh, it's double-sided there as well. The food mart, it's different businesses, some construction, there's the diner and the coffee shop. Yeah, very cool. Wow, really nice art. Really nice. Looks like the courthouse or something. Um, so you do have a lot of rural areas that you can play on. Then there's also the neighborhoods. Here you've got houses and swimming pool. And it all takes place at night. It's got this cool glow around it to kind of help you see. There's dividers in the game where people can't fire through or move through. So that kind of helps distinguish those marks, but it looks really cool. It looks like it's part of the background. Yeah, wow, these are really great. Okay, and then when, you're, when your angel dies in the game, it actually goes to heaven and there's ways you can kind of contribute and, and get back in the game. So this, this is heaven right here and it's, uh, it's high and above, I guess. Yeah, there's a couple of different sides. The gates, the pearly gates. And this looks like the other side of the tracks. <laughs> and then more more of the neighborhoods. Yeah, well, lots of detail. Wow, you're really getting your money's worth here. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, this looks like player cards or player player sheets where you can keep track of your player, maybe for the the campaign, possibly. So there's, there's a few in that. These are the angel boards, and you can upgrade your abilities here, just different things that they're asymmetrical. So they, they start with different, different skill sets, and then you can add on here with your, uh, your abilities, your, your talents. And then they have backstory on each of the angels. I believe they're all pulled from 
some form of scripture. Here they have reference to Habakkuk. They have have some some backstory here, and then looks like there's some some ways to uh, be successful with this individual character. You got their abilities, certain play style recommendations. So they're not leaving you hanging on that. You can kind of get a look at the artwork, and it looks great. It looks really good. Christine, that's the gal with the long hair. Yeah, again, they've got their lore on the backside. The voice of thunder, Christine. There's Gabriel, the messenger of God. I know that Gabriel, I think, can move quickly, something along those lines. Uh, you got some backstory on him as well there. The messenger of God. Michael, the archangel. Oh, man, he's got some, like, like neon gold-infused hats <laughs> and this huge giant sword. Very cool. Miko, the river watcher. Man, the artwork, look at it. It's so great. Very cool. And nice graphic design, too. The, the borders and everything are very heavenly, right? You can see that guy. Hopefully you can see him all right. He looks really cool. This is Sardis, the stone speaker. I hope I pronounced that right. Shula, keeper of light. Talu, with the wind walker. Oh, that's the guy. He looked like he was kicking. He's just uh, walking <laughs> really high. Uriel, the flame of God. Oh, that guy. He's on fire. That's awesome. Wouldn't want to mess with him. And then Michael, the archangel. Wow, man. Look at the artist. Just this, every, every one of these pictures is a work of art. And that's really great. That's really cool. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Stop. Do not open until instructed by the campaign book. All right, well, we won't open that. Some extra material, who knows what's in there. And this looks like the demons. These are the ultimate baddies here, uh, not those little tiny ones like we looked at earlier. And again, you can see the artwork. Antiochus, the Prince of Greece. And there's some inspiration from scripture on that. That's awesome, all right. Veil the Silent. Oh man, look at that giant bull. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to even be able to pronounce some of these things. Uh, De Deva, the Prince of Persia. Oh wow, the artwork, man. Sweet. Now they all have their own little symbols on back. The Euphrates Frogs. I remember, if I remember correctly, this is three villains. You've got to, you got to knock out three demons, and all of these have different abilities and different skill sets. There's Herod the Great. He looks like somebody from Lord of the Rings, and he's obviously inspired by Herod. <laughs> and here's Legion. There are many. Let's see. Yeah, we got that from Mark Five. Yeah, oh man, the artwork, the, the graphic design is really great. Everything feels very thematic, very uh, immersive. Abomination, with his chains. The cruel archer. The fallen seraph. The hateful fiend. Masked evil. The meddling imp. It's, oh, I, I believe there are a few of them as well. You've got to knock all of them off. Sandman and the Unclean Spirit. Man, I hope you can get a real feel for the artwork in this. I hope my lighting is good enough for that. Anyhow, yeah, those look really awesome. Looks like there's tons of replayability with those. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we've got a container there for cards or, or different tokens. And we've got lots of decks of cards. We'll jump into this in just a minute here. All right, let's see what we have here. Yeah, the round order, just your um, cards to help you with, uh, with some of the iconography. 
the Intercessor. Uh, this may be a uh, special character that you can add to the game or something along those lines because it looks like you can upgrade this person as well. The standees are all the characters. Our little pieces for uh, the dials. All right, let's open some of these decks up. This is the talent deck and it appears as though they have these for each character. It's been a long time since I played this, so. Yeah, the Intercessor, Gabriel. Yeah, so there's these decks for each person and I think you get to choose them at the beginning or you can, you can upgrade throughout. Plague Absorption, Roguelike, Captive Fumes. It's gonna grant you, uh, looks like, money or healing power or damage. I guess it's however you want to build your character. I do think that, yeah, you can upgrade to some of these other levels, level two and level three. Uh, okay, so that's the talent deck. Let's see here, the darkness deck. Yeah, the darkness cards. I don't think it's too hard to, uh, to guess that these are probably bad things that happen. <laughs> so a nation divided. Angel worship, angry mob, apathy. So these are all sins or personal struggles and their arrogance, bitter memories, blighted harvest, corruption of the innocents. So these are the, uh, they're kind of missions, little uh, things that you have to overcome, drunken revelry. Uh, man, I love that uh, family scars there. They're not, it's not like a bomb or any sort of violence. It's uh, things that are, uh, that Satan uses against you to create problems in your life, a fearful spirit, fiery darts, things that uh, lack of faith, that sort of thing, fool's arrogance, graven images, heart of stone, heartless rebuke, hopelessness, hunger pains, idle hands, yeah, just uh, things in life, uh, marital and faithfulness, media blindness, <laughs> uh, muse of the oppression, perilous gambit, pride, uh, roots of prejudice, yeah, sin, bitterness, things like that that you're going to have to battle in this game and uh, overcome. The prince battle, so when you get to the final, when you get to the final battle these are looks like cards that are going to have that are going to come into play and you're going to have to defeat them yeah so they have each of the each of the demons like the monster demons like the big ones that's that deck right there all right let's see what else we got all right this is another talent deck it has all the other characters in here and there's a lot of these a lot of these cards to uh, customize your characters throughout the game What else we got here? All right. Yeah, you've got uh, the, the big baddies here, cards for them. I'm not sure how they come into play. And here you have prayer cards and you're gonna use prayer in the game to combat some of these evils. And they all have abilities. They all have some sort of thematic biblical tie-in. So this has a Psalm 91.7, Jeremiah 23.29. So there is some biblical truth. You don't have to know anything about the Bible to play this game. These are just this kind of flavor text that are added in. Uh, these are just abilities that, uh, that are used and thematically induced into the game to help you battle some of these, these bad guys. Yeah, and wow, there are a ton of these. I'm looking forward to going through those. I definitely remember those from the from the earlier version of the game. This looks like another another deck, more prayer cards, and minor talents. Whenever a demon of this type is dealt any amount of damage, first test seven on failure, prevent two of that damage dealt to this demon. So maybe these are. Uh, talents for the bad guys 
vengeful. I guess I could turn him over. Oh, okay, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of different cards in here. Yeah, abusive, uh, blighted, champion, covetous, deceptive, egomaniac, explosive, guarded. Yeah. And these are obviously exclusive to certain villains because they've got their symbol on the front. Uh, insatiable hunger, gluttonous, greater than, hidden daggers. Yeah, I love all these icons that uh, pertain to each character. I'm a graphic designer, so these are the things that really do it for me. Uh, some more darkness cards. And Heavenly Treasure, the last deck. All right, yeah, it looks like there's some different types of cards in here, maybe. Yeah, so the Heavenly Treasures, these are tools you can get to use in the game. The Branch of David, the Book of Life, the Bright Guard Kilt, the Bronze Serpent. Looks like uh, maybe these are upgradable abilities. Commander's Code, Courageous Signet, Crown of Glory. Uh, again, the artwork, man, every one of these pictures is really well done. So you're not getting ripped off at all. Yeah, very nice. I don't know how, uh, what stock looks like on this game. As of now, right now, when I make this video, uh, I know that this is just now getting delivered to backers on their website. They do have this game available still, and I imagine it won't be there for very long. This was uh, pretty popular in certain circles. Here we have more of those villain cards. So anyway, yeah, and you got this big, uh, big container insert inside there to hold everything. Anyways, that's Deliverance. This, uh, I'm super excited to play this. Again, we played the prototype many, many months ago. Like, I don't know, it's been probably a year or so. I really enjoyed it then. It has definitely come together. All the, uh, the extra stuff, the campaign book looks really cool. All the artwork looks amazing. I can give you a look at some of the sides here of the, the box. Yeah, it's big, big artwork, colorful. Yeah, it's very thematic. Again, uh, it is a very biblically based game. You can get a feel for it. Yeah, this looks amazing. Yeah, if this appeals to you at all, you should definitely go pick this up. It is, uh, it's not a super heavy dungeon crawler. And it's one that I think that a lot of people are gonna get into who maybe wouldn't normally get into dungeon crawlers, but it's also, it's it's not super heavy to the point where it's, it's really difficult to jump in. The rules, if I remember correctly, weren't that weren't that complex. So this is definitely something that uh, if this is if this is something you're interested in, you need to go grab it before it runs out of stock. I'm super excited and thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you sticking around. If you don't already follow us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. We're always posting photos of games that we're playing. Uh, thoughts and different unboxings as well. So uh, follow us and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks.